Today we're going to be comparing numbers using our place value chart. This problem asks us to label the units in the place value chart um, and draw place value disks to represent each number in the place value chart. We're going to use a less than, greater than, or equal sign to compare the two numbers and write the correct symbol in the circle. So we have 409,004 compared to 440,002. We, the first thing we had to do was label the units. So we practiced doing a shorthand in class. So I can do ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and millions. Quick way to do that. Then I have to draw the place value disk for each number. So I'm going to start with 409,004. So I have four in the ones place, nothing in the tens, nothing in the hundreds, nine in the thousand spot. And notice that I'm grouping my numbers in groups of five, so I can easily count later. Nothing in the ten thousands, and then four in the hundred thousands. Do the same thing for 440,002. Two in the one spot, nothing in the tens, hundreds, or thousands. Four in the ten thousands, and four in the hundred thousands. Now I compare. I look at, um, I look at the largest place value first. So I'm going to look at hundred thousands. They both have four. And because they're the same, I go to the next value, 10 thousands. The top number has zero, and the bottom number has four. Four is greater than zero, so I know that this is my bigger number. And if I go up top, I'll know then that it has to be greater than this right. So we have 409,004 is less than 440,002. Sometimes we get questions like this. Compare the two numbers by using the symbols less than, greater than, or equal. Write the correct symbol in the circle. They did not give us the numbers in standard form like this one. They gave us the first number in unit form. There's a digit and words. So I'm going to write it in standard form underneath so I can better compare. So I have 900 thousands. I know that if we're in the hundred thousands, we have six digits. So I'm going to write six lines underneath so that I know I don't lose any. Nine goes in the hundred thousands. And then it says eight thousands. So I'll put eight in the thousand spot, nine hundreds, so I'll put nine in the hundred spot, and three tens, so I'll put three in the ten spot. The blanks get zeros. So now I have my number. And if I look at those two numbers, I can easily see they're the same number, so they are equal.